Red Kratom and Opiates, Hydrocodone, Norcos. Norcos were the opiates that I had taken. I never had a true addiction to opiates. Uh, it was never anything that it got to the point that I was buying it off the street, that I needed, that I needed, that I needed. Uh, but they were the one opiates that I had taken that I could tell that it's something I could get addicted to down the line. And I have taken Red Kratom before. I was a firm believer in Kratom. And there is a difference between these two, but a lot of times what you'll find is people will start to substitute Red Kratom for opiates, for painkillers. Uh, and here's what I experienced of the two. Now, this is just my personal experience. There's pros and cons to both. Both are highly addictive. So if you are struggling, make sure you get with your doctor. Make sure you get with your therapist. Let people know if you are struggling with addiction. I have links down below to NA and AA. Don't go through it alone. But here's what I've noticed are the big difference when it came to taking an opiate like hydrocodone versus something like red kratom. Red kratom you can buy over the counter. Hydrocodone, you got to get a prescription for. If you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button down below. Love to have you along. Comment down below. Love to hear your thoughts. What are the big differences between those two? Well, besides one being prescribed and one that you can go to a smoke shop or to a vitamin shop and buy in most states, both are addictive. So both actually have a, the tendency to actually bond to your brain receptors that has an addictive uh, property to it. Now, hydrocodone, um, Norcos, I would just call them Norcos because that's what I knew them always as. Norcos are a pill that you take. Um, anytime that you took an opi opiate, it's for pain, it's for pain relief, it's for pain management. Uh, I would abuse them in the sense that I would use them for work um, to help me be able to push through the day to not feel any pain. Now, when you do take an opiate, you do take a pill, it does release into your system. Um, you feel it immediately where with Kratom, when I was taking Red Kratom, I did an experiment of taking Red Kratom um, tablets for twice a day for 30 days. And then I went through a withdrawal and, and I vlogged the whole thing. I have it actually on my channel. I did this a couple years ago. But with Red Kratom, it was a process to almost get it in my system. It wasn't like an opiate. An opiate, a pill like that, you pop it. Oh, man, I would feel the effects of it. 20 minutes, 15 minutes, 25 minutes. I mean, it varied a little bit. But man, it was in my system. I felt a boost of energy. It was a dopamine rush. All of a sudden, my body just felt great. I felt like Superman. I had no back pain. I had no feet pain. I could walk forever. Where with Red Kratom, I didn't notice any of the effects right when I started first taking it. I did notice a mental effect. Both of them put me in really good moods. I have to say that opiates and Red Kratom both put me in a really good state of mind. Very positive, very upbeat, very energetic, felt good, happy. And a lot of that has to also do with the dopamine rush, which is the happy uh, chemical in our brain that gets released into our system and we feel happy. So it did give me that rush. Both of them gave me that but I didn't notice any kind of pain difference. Now, when I took Norco, it was because I was working, I was in pain, I could feel the pain go away really, really quick. Um, I was working out when I was taking Red Kratom, and I started trying to up and push my weights a little bit more just because I knew it was supposed to be a pain reliever. Uh, I didn't really notice the effects of the pain relief. Uh, maybe seven days into it did I notice all of a sudden that, hey, I had no body aches all of a sudden. Uh, so the effects of it are a lot more delayed. It is a powder. It's a natural substance versus something that is a pharmaceutical. So Kratom did take longer to get in my system in a lot of the different ways than what an opiate did. But the one thing that does scare me always about both is both are highly addictive. And I went through withdrawals of Kratom. I never went through withdrawals on Norcos. Uh, Norcos, I would take a uh, one Norco at work during an RV show for like 10 days straight, and then that was it. Um, opiates were something I never really abused. Uh, my drugs of choice when I was an active addict was alcohol and cocaine. I preferred stimulants over anything else. Uh, when I went with the Kratom though, I really wanted to do this experiment because I had heard of all these beneficial properties to it. And everyone warned me about Red Kratom. They're like, hey, it, it has opiate you know, properties. I had friends actually who were struggling with opiate addiction that had gotten off of pills and got onto Red Kratom, but then ended up relapsing. So I knew a lot of the pros and cons when it came to Kratom, and I wanted to see for myself. So I, I did as much of a scientific study as I could on it. Um, I literally had it measured out to how many grams each day I was taking. It wasn't a very high gram. Uh, the pills I was taking were actually these right here, and there's 150 pills in them. 
And the amount is, uh, let's see, it was 650 milligrams per capsule. I was taking four capsules in the morning, four capsules in the afternoon. So I did that for 30 days. I did go through withdrawals. Uh, my withdrawals with the Red Cram were probably not quite as extreme as it was with opiates for a lot of people. And a lot of it has to do with, I didn't take a massive amount of Red Kratom. I know a lot of people have taken a lot of Red Kratom. We're talking 10, 15 grams minimum a day, just pounding this stuff into their system. Of course, whenever you take a large amount, you are going to feel differently. But even with the low dosage, uh, after 30 days of taking it, I had hot and cold sweats. I had constipation. I had restless legs. I had body aches and body pains. Um, I went through withdrawals. I uh, felt like I had a really bad fever. Um, just felt like crap. So opiates and red kratom are going to give you those withdrawals. I mean, it's it's a known fact with opiates that they are highly addictive. Um, again, if you are struggling with these, my suggestion is you don't trade off opiates for red kratom. That's just my personal preference. But I know a lot of people are very touchy on the kratom subject because they're like, oh, it's helped me. It's been so beneficial. I know the benefits of Kratom. Uh, I use Kratom, like I said, I did white, red, and green Kratom. I did all three of them 30 days each just to kind of document and see how it made me feel because I was looking for something that was like an antidepressant. Uh, I can't take SSRIs, which are drugs like Lexapro, Prozac. So I wanted to find something to help me with my depression. But both opiates and Kratom, they both made me feel great, definitely happy. Uh, the big difference, though, I noticed is like Kratom, it just it took it a lot longer to get into my system um, rather than a pill that hit my system right away. Uh, both of them do scare me. Uh, I don't know if I'd ever really do the Kratom experiences again. I might one day just out of curiosity to see if it's still like as bad as I thought it was or if it's better. Who knows? I may do it one day. But opiates definitely scare me. Um, if I am prescribed opiates, I take them how they're prescribed just because... Uh, let's face it, I'm an addict and I know that struggle and I don't want to have to ever go through that again. I don't want to have to go through the withdrawals again. And the withdrawals that I went through with Kratom, um, it knocked me out for a couple days. For a couple days, it was pr it was pretty bad. And people were like, oh, you're exaggerating. You have no idea. Withdrawals for everybody are different. And I can tell you this, if you're going through withdrawals, if you are struggling, get with your doctor. Let them know that you're struggling. Get an NA, get an AA. Get support around you. Um, there's Suboxone out there. There's different ways to taper out there. Get help because you're worth more than a drug, believe me. And that little bit of life that it brings to you steals away so much more. But love to hear your comments. Comment down below. Hit the like and subscribe button. Love to share my experiences. I love to just make sure that nobody goes through life alone because when we are struggling, it sucks. But these are my just these are my experiences. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a counselor. I'm just sharing from what I've been through and what I've experienced. Hopefully it helps somebody else out there. Just know that you matter and you got this.